I grew up staring at pictures of Patagonia. I mean, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Vibrant colors, amazing landscapes, and these iconic mountains. Having the chance to go was like a dream assignment. Well, it was supposed to be. I've made my living by being in the right place at the right time. And right now is neither. Every trip, you kind of expect a few days of bad weather. I mean, you even plan for it, but not two weeks worth. Never has the place shut me down so completely. Our clothes were soaked, roads were flooded. It felt like some sort of cosmic rejection. Someone even told me it was the worst weather in seven years. Just looking up at the sky, you realize that beyond that thick layer of clouds are some of the most beautiful mountains in the world. Frustration doesn't even begin to cover it. In a situation like this, it's easy to compare everything we're doing to what others have already done. If you think about it, most of the great exploration has already been achieved. Peaks climbed, waves surfed, and oceans explored. But for me, it's a trip like this that it humbles you. It puts your life in perspective, it makes you realize just how insignificant you are. I mean, if everything goes perfect, you walk away completely unchanged. But if you leave your expectations at the door and go with an open mind, you can come back with so much more than just photographs. You come back with experiences that change who you are. You meet people that allow you to see the world in a totally different way. And I guess that's what the spirit of exploration is all about. Taking the unexpected and embracing it. Although we didn't plan for it, we were able to see a different side of Patagonia. And looking back, I wouldn't change a thing.